Brianna's Bananas Cooking Show. Here we go! Hello everybody, it's Brianna. Today, I'm a little bit late for Halloween. By the time I post this, it'll be like five days late. But if you're like me, Halloween's never over. So today I'm making goulash. <laughs> That's funny, right? So you are going to need some beef, pound of beef, tomato sauce, these petite diced tomatoes, around 16 ounces of beef broth, but this is about 14.5, it's fine. Maybe add a little bit of water too, if you're short. Some garlic, some onion and a green pepper. Some of these macaroni noodles. Just a cup of them, which is about half of this bag. Um, Worcestershire, Worcestershire. Italian seasoning, salt and pepper, some butter, and some cheese to go on it at the end. Let's make some spooky pasta. Ooh. Let me get my apron on. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. So I'm gonna start with chopping up this onion and pepper just in a small dice. You guys should know how to do that by now. And then we're gonna saute it in some butter in this big old pot. Saute it for a little bit. And then we're gonna add the garlic. Gonna brown the beef. Drain off all the fat if you need to. And then we're gonna add these cans and the pasta and the seasonings. Okay, so let me dust this up. So my grandma used to make goulash all the time. Sometimes she would make it when I was coming over to eat dinner. Sometimes she would just make it and then I would come over and she would give me her leftovers. But like almost time, every time I saw my grandma, she would give me a big old container full of goulash. And she would like force it upon me and then she would make me eat a bowl of mac and cheese while I was there. <laughs> but you know how grandmas are. They love to stuff ya. I think that's where I get it from. I like to stuff people full of food now. A little trick to cutting peppers. You can just cut off each little like side of it. Instead of just cutting it in half, just cut off each little cheek. In the bottom and then you're left with all these seeds in the top so you don't really have to like go digging through your peppers a bunch so to get some of this white stuff I forgot my cutting board today, and this is like the only cutting board that Dustin has for some reason. <laughs> and it's teeny tiny, so now I gotta cut one thing at a time and put it in the pot. But we're working with it. I used to wanna be a personal chef and like come to famous people's houses and like or just anybody's house who wanted to pay me enough and like cook a meal for them. And I don't know if that means you would have to use their kitchen stuff or you can bring your own kitchen stuff. I don't know if anybody knows. Leave me a comment about it. I always thought it'd be fun though and like meet new people that way.
maybe cook for someone really awesome, like George Clooney. <laughs> Okay, this is all chopped up. It's all in the pot. So I'm going to let this sweat out a little bit. Sweat. Sweat. <laughs> Maybe like a couple minutes. This cord is stuck on my shoe. I'm sorry. And then I'm gonna add some garlic. And then I'm gonna add the beef. This is how much garlic I'm gonna put. Just depends on how much you like garlic, you know. I really like garlic, obviously you guys know. <laughs> Turn this up a little. I'm gonna add this beef. If you want, you don't even have to add beef. You can make this vegetarian. Instead of beef broth, you can add vegetable stock. You know what I mean? I'm gonna add some of this Italian seasoning. Make it nice and Italian. Some salt. Some of this Worcestershire, maybe just like a tablespoon that was. So I'm just going to keep breaking this up, keep cooking the meat. Once the meat is all cooked, I'll come back. Okay, this beef is pretty well cooked. It doesn't really need to be drained. Of the fat, so I'm just gonna add my cans. My petite tomatoes, tomato sauce, and then this whole can of beef broth. Okay, let's bring this up to a boil. And then we're gonna add our noodles. It doesn't look like a lot of noodles right now, but these noodles seriously plump up. And it, it looks like nothing but noodles once it, by the time it's like all soaked up. All this sauce. So let me let this cook gonna be about 20 minutes I'm gonna keep on stirring it every now and then and then I will come back and do a little taste test maybe with her with not Dustin <laughs> so I will come back when it's ready okay bye. okay we're back it's ready mm. we already put cheese on it but cheese. this is what it looks like so good chunky so yeah nice and chunky Chunks. <laughs> still kind of hot but Steven. party gosh mm. you can feel it come going all the way down because <laughs> it's super warm <laughs> the steam <laughs> <laughs> it's nice and hearty though mm -hmm. there's like plenty in this pot a bunch Look at how much is in this pot. It's like halfway full of just goulash. Goulash for days. Goulash. It was about $15, I'd say, to feed like, I don't know, four or five people, maybe, all in one pot. So that's a plus two. Mm. You can also make a vegetarian, remember? Mm -hmm. So what do you think? It's gooey. Ooh. <laughs> I'm scared. Ah, it's so scary. <laughs> Better eat it. Ah. <laughs> this is stupid. 
<laughs> but you like it though? I love it. It is good. Especially with a little bit Help of cheese. Help with the cheese. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know it. It's kind of like a more hearty spaghetti in a way. Yeah. But not spaghetti, like macaroni noodle style. Like the love child. Yeah. <laughs> so, I hope you try this for yourself. Only took me about a half an hour, I'd say. Uh, it's gonna feed lots of people. Super good, like I said. Mm -hmm. So, like the video if you liked it. Better. Let me know if you tried this. Take pictures and stuff. Send me messages on Instagram and Snapchat and follow me on TikTok at Brianna Pants07 if you wanna. So, subscribe. Share with your friends, all our YouTube jazz. I love you guys. Happy late Halloween again. And we'll see you next week with another video. Bye. Bye.